YouTube faithful, what is going on? You thought I was going to say acknowledge me, didn't you? Well, it's Monday. You can acknowledge me tomorrow after today's banger. Now, if you're new to my channel, you just stopped in, you just clicked the thumbnail. Fella, there is only one Captain Crush, and you are looking at him. All I need from you, tap the subscribe, hit the like button, maybe leave me a comment, whatever you want, do it all. You do the Lord's work, you pay the toll, and I will continue to do so each and every day. Now, it's late 3 30 central you were probably sitting back in your recliner eating your cheetos your popcorn whatever have you thinking man captain crush may not have a video today is that what you thought it didn't matter what you thought because the fact is there's a ton of games today i think 11 in total and i had picked through all of them to try to find something to talk about and fella there ain't a close spread on the board look at what i am looking at here and you will see it is late march march went by in a blink bang march is gone it's time for april it's time for spring and late nba season means poverty games poverty rotations but the playoffs will be right around the corner and the money printer goes burr or in this case bang so first things first the houston rockets are playing the poverty trailblazers at the 13 and a half point spread we've seen a ton of blowouts it happened all weekend long baby captain crush tells you guys to always be wary of the nba on saturday and sunday they go out they have a few drinks they get hung over they couldn't care less they phone it in but not captain crush captain crush is here sober ready to go ready to crush for you and i'm gonna talk about the playoff bound possibly question mark maybe the play in houston rockets because tonight they're gonna get that w now we gotta talk about something jalen green is on a historic run i got him last night at 25 and a half this is the highest i can remember seeing his line it's gonna be popular it has everything working against it maybe Maybe you want to go take his first half. You don't want to eat that bump. You say, Cap, it's going to be a blowout. I have zero interest in it. Well, you could be right, but I don't ever factor in blowouts that much because whenever I do, rest assured, the game stays close or maybe even goes the other way. Now, I liked Jalen Green at 32 and a half P plus R. They bumped it up on you. They bumped his points. Captain Crush got all the crispy value the night before, but I still think even with these bumps, you could get get in the mix now remember if you say you're afraid of the full game you think it's gonna be a blowout will you take your poverty self right over here to the first half you type in Jalen Green and maybe you go to his first half points or his first half PRA now they don't have a fantasy score up for my boy but it's okay either one of these are in the mix I'm doubling down on him I don't care and I'll probably be live betting folks if it's a blowout well then chalk it all like Grayson Allen on Saturday Kevin Durant soared but then the game blew out and Grayson Allen didn't get to play that much so he didn't cover his gobby so my play of the day it chalked. It's a rare occurrence, but it happens. Everything and anything is possible. Joel Embiid's on a five-day run, I think. Or so he says. I can't be sure because I don't tail Joel Embiid. So we talked about green. Now let me go over to my notes real quick because I'm losing my train of thought. A lot of thoughts going through the captain's head. I got green, Voos, Aiton, McBride. Bang, we're going straight to the Knicks game. Detroit is abs absolutely poverty. They have a 98 implied team point total. It's a terrible matchup for the Detroit Pistons. They're missing. Cade, they're missing Durin, they're missing it all. But you know what they aren't missing? Miles McBride because he plays for the crispy Knicks, and I will be targeting Miles McBride. It doesn't matter if it's a blowout or not, he's gonna get minutes. So I'm gonna go right over here to his crispy points, maybe his fantasy, but this is my priority his points. I got him projected for 15 and a half. And if there was ever a game for Miles McBride to clear, it's going to be this. Now, he's just going to chuck up threes. Whether they're going to go in or not, that's a whole nother story. But again, I'm taking my shot. He's going to shoot four to five three-pointers at least. If he can hit three, if he can shoot 50%, then he's going to get in the hoop, and he's going into the mix, and he's going in Captain Crush's slips. Now, I got to fly through here because I got a tee time at 5.30, and I ain't missing it. And I still got to do a live stream and drop those projections, baby. So I got to get hustling. So, Miles McBride, you just made the list. Don't let us down. I'm flying through this video today. Not going to do a deep dive in analytics. It's Monday. It's I'm not in love with the slate. I'm not going to pretend that I am. So I'm just giving it to you guys. I'm putting it on a spoon. You can say open wide, and Captain Crush will spoon feed you. Psych! 
I ain't spoon feeding you ever. Get that thought out of your head. I'm not interested. Now, there's a lot of stuff to talk about in the late game. You got the lake. You got the Pacers versus the Clippers. The Clips just got embarrassed the other night to the Sixers. Maybe they come back tonight and bounce back. You're going to have to factor that in. You're going to have to think about it all. Let's go to the three points attempted. What do we know about Garland's three points attempted? Well, it's usually in the mix. Am I taking it today? Probably not. But I will be taking DeJounte Murray's nine three points attempted. You better believe it, fella. And I think it's going to hit. Now, Darius Garland, you could make a case for it, but I don't like it at eight and a half. If it was eight, I'd be on board. But I'm just going to stick with DeJounte Murray from the three point attempted. Remember, these are the lottery ticket props. They don't mean much. There's not much of an edge, but I felt like I would include it because the people like the fun segment. So Captain Crutch is here to do the Lord's work, baby. Now, you want to talk about a game that has poverty written all over it? Washington Wizards versus the Chicago Bulls. The Wizards couldn't be in a worse matchup but the Bulls couldn't be in a better matchup, baby. Nikola Vucevic only got two rebounds last game. Captain Crush had him in a lot of slips, and he sold, right? So he's banned, right? Wrong. I don't ban players, but I ban franchises, and Vuce is nowhere near being banned. I'm going to take a shot on Vuce. Now, what I'm thinking is I think I'm going to go to his first half PRA, and I think I'm going to get in the mix at 17 and a half. I also like his first half fantasy. That way, if he disappears or a blowout, I think... I'm protected. There's no real protection in this, buddy. I ain't Durex and I dang sure ain't Trojan. I'm Captain Crush. There's no protection. But the first half could be considered, and I also will go right back here. Now, these are darts, fella. They ain't anchors, which means one to two slips max. I don't want to hear, oh, my whole night rests on Vucevic. Fella, if your entire night is resting on a dart, then you are doing this wrong. Your entire night should be resting on the anchor, the play of the day. That's what it should be resting on. It shouldn't be resting on the darts, and it for sure shouldn't be deciding your night, guys. I'm telling you, you got to learn how to build slips. So if you want to learn how to build slips, get in Captain Crush's Discord. I cover it all, how to make slips, how to correlate. I teach everything you could. Here's the winning slips. Here's the wall of green, baby. Shout out to Westbrook who gave me a 2X college basketball slip. It should have been 25X, but blowouts and turnovers, it is what it is. Here's a second half slip from my wall of green that I gave to everyone in the court last night. I was sure that Austin Reeves was covering. I had him in one and a half point. Listen, the fact is, early on Sunday, I told you guys, the anchors, Chris Middleton, four and a half assist. He soared over, but still people found a way to find chalk because Shy sold. Draymond Green sold. So everyone was feeling some kind of way. And Captain Crutch said, no, I'm going to have to lift these guys out of poverty. Ain't no way I'm letting them go to bed on an L. Not tonight, fella. So what did I do? I cooked up two sleeper slips for a same game parlay and for the discount. And here I am. A lot of people tell me, but here it is right here. Cash that. This is the one I posted for the sleeper discount. 6.4x, cash it right there. I gave that one away. That one cash, that was me. I had all those props mixed and matched as well as this. And then bang, the same game parlay masterclass. Everybody was upset. Nobody, uh, Kevin Gray said, nah. Same game parlay coming up. Four man, bang, 5x, cash it. If you're not on sleeper, you're doing it wrong. You cannot just be on prize picks hoping to win. You got to expand your horizons, fella. I'm talking sleeper, chalkboard, underdog, all of them. You never know when crispy value is going to pop up. Everybody was doubting Reeves at the half. He only had zero three-pointers. And Captain Crush said, no, let me quarterback this. He's going out in the third quarter. He's going to splash two three-pointers, take it to the bank. He cashed. I doubled down on it as well. I printed money on Sleeper. I cashed the second half slip with Turner and Reeves. I built another wall of green. And on top of that, a lot of people in the court got in the mix and got W's as well. Even on a Sunday, fella. As you can see here, I'm going through the wall. Look at that great Draymond sold the bag, baby. It should have been 200. That should have been easy coin, but it is what it is. I'll take my double up. My name ain't Neek. I don't cry about doubling my money because I'm not poverty, fella. A second half master class. And there was a fifth leg down there with Siakam, but the screenshot cut off. Cash it. 
Hallie should have got there in the second half, but he didn't. I'll take my dub, and then that one I gave out to everybody. Cash it all, baby. And as you can see, just scrolling through, there's walls of green everywhere, so get in the mix. And then here's WG612. He cashed a massive parlay, 73x. He had five to win 366, baby. He said used caps projections and used my gut, and he nuked a 73x. Man, I would have loved to have a 50 piece on that 73x. Congratulations, buddy. That's a heck of a run, a heck of a parlay. Nobody hits 73x. I'm telling you right now, that's rare. That's like the rarest Pokemon there is. And I got to give Uncle Dan his Call of Duty props. He's up like 6K in a weekend. He bought me Starbucks not once, not twice. You got to respect a man that acknowledges the tribal chief. Shout out to Dan. I'm scrolling through here. Shout out to Mangum. He's cashing on Sleeper. I'm trying to find my Saturday master class. I gave two slips on Saturday, and they both crushed 10x and 2x. Where is it at? Let me find it. Tommy Tarantino. Shout out with the master class. He's absolutely right. It's always a master class, baby. Here we go. Saturday night, Captain Crush was on a date with his woman, but I was still finding ways to crush. Cash it. Cash it. Under on Tatum in that matchup? Absolutely. Cash it. Another cash. Give me my double up. Another cash. Give me my double up. That should have been a thousand. Clean, baby. Clean. One, two, three. In the middle of the ring. But John Collins decided to go nuclear. What can you do? I'll take my cash. Another 2x. I posted this through the dub club, in the Discord, and through the dub club. Everybody had a double up slip. And if you do what I preach, which is I tell you guys, take the five and six mans, break them down into two and three mans. I'm begging you, just as sure as water is wet. Is you would have crushed give me my 2x and last give me my 10x my 250 the free square bang gave it out on dub club as well no excuses get in the mix i'm tired of doing the lord's work but somebody's got to do it, and I will do it each and every day, baby. So if you want to get in the mix, you go to CaptainCrush.net. Here it is. You go to the gold package. Buy now. Bang. The discounts are over. You got to pay full price. But Captain Crush is trending. One month, $24.99. You'll get your money's worth. Miss me. I'm giving the best value. Most people charge 50 plus a month, and they don't give half of what I do. It's insane. It's absurd. I'm not here to nickel and dime, grift, or scam you. I'm here to teach you how to be successful and that is what i will continue to do win lose or draw baby i will teach you the right way to do things so we talked about green we talked about boost we talked about it all but now we gotta look at deandre ayton and what are we gonna do with him do we take ayton as the 1v1 optimal run back with jalen green and this is where it gets dicey, fam, because it's going to be a sweat. It's going to be scary. I'm not sure what to do here. I just want to mention him. If I'm going to take any eight, and it's probably going to be his PRA or maybe even his fantasy or his RA. They don't have a big center presence right now. They don't have a big, but Portland has nothing to play for. They might just lay down. I'm not exactly sure, but he was worth mentioning, okay? Now I'm going to go see if there's any fantasy scores up that I could tell you guys to get behind. Now, Derek White's fantasy. Fantasy's always in the mix. My favorite play was his points, rebounds. They bumped it up. So now I'm off of it. Talked about Miles McBride. Gary Trent Jr., baby! Yes, sir. His fantasy scores in the mix, Papa. Not in love with any of these games, but you gotta consider Gary Trent Jr. He's a junior, baby. You gotta consider him. And then no Wembenyama over in the Spurs. I think they're gonna get smashed again. I think they're gonna get beat bad so personally i won't have any exposure to any of these guys i don't even want to play games with the unders i don't want to take any risks i did take nurkic's first half pra it felt crispy but they bumped it up too and then you got Corey kispert under 26 fantasy i took under 24 and a half pra they bumped it all the way down so now i'm gonna fade it i think you could take a shot at Lori markinen's fantasy at 34 i kind of like Kyrie under i kind of like Tyrese Maxey over 40 fantasy or his points I just paid 42 for him yesterday or the day before I can't remember 40 seems crispy
but it's always gonna be a risk especially since they're on a back-to-back -back. i don't know for sure if i'm gonna go there i kind of have interest in siakam and i kind of have zero interest in anyone else down here i think paul george over 39 fantasy points is hitting he had a bad game yesterday the franchise so that's probably my favorite fantasy score of the day would be paul george 39 fantasy score now i know i just went through all those rapid fire but you got to figure out what you're gonna do fella i'm rushing through here man it's a short day kevin crush posted a lot of stuff and it all got bumped but the fact is this slate is not good fella i'm telling you it's not a good slate so you got to figure out what you're gonna do so you could do this right here these three right here but i honestly like i said earlier in the video i like miles mcbride's fantasy score better excuse me i like his points better than i do his fantasy score you can take jalen green's points or his points rebounds and then you can mix and match Vu's first half pra or any other darts that you'd like i like nikola jokic under two and a half blocks and steals this was plus ev last night he can always get three blocks or steals in any given matchup so it's gonna be a sweat anytime you take these type of unders or overs they're always a sweat but i did have exposure to it and then as far as turnover goes, I hate to say it, but Luke is a wagon when it comes to turnovers. Why? Because he just keeps the ball in his hand so much. It's just ridiculous how often he has the ball in his hand. And Sabonis, two and a half turnovers. Sometimes it's a wagon. Sometimes it's a chalk. These would be my favorite of those blocks and steals and turnover style props. And don't forget about the three-point attempts. DeJounte Murray, baby, facing the Boston Celtics. He's going to need to chuck threes if they want to stay in. And he's going to absolutely going to have to make a few of them. It's risky, but it does have push equity. Now, if you did just want to do all unders, I think you could do something like this. Let me cook. Miles Bridges under 35 fantasy points. Zach Collins under 28 fantasy points. But Cap, there's no way. I don't care. I'm not interested in Zach Collins this season. He's fell off the wagon. And then to be honest, Maxi's fantasy, I know I told you guys is over, but the more I think about it, it's going to get bumped down to 38 to 39. So I would wait and take Maxi later. But honestly, if you're going to take Maxi, just take his points that's pretty much it guys like i said like captain Kirsch said to you i'm going light today baby i'm gonna be out on the green smashing the driver 400 yards i'm gonna be pitching and chipping and smashing birdies fading the bogeys and i hope to do it all and i will track my score live baby for the card so you guys can place your bets remember i have a bunch of rules and the rule is is whenever you have a big night you always go light the next day you don't want to give back what you just made it's best practice i promise you that i hope you guys have a good night i hope your contest hits i hope you have a fun sweat i hope for it all baby but most importantly captain crush hopes to see you in the mix in his discord slash dub club now my dub club you're new it's linked to your discord you get the gold package you sync it and that will give you into the discord which runs through dub club so with all that in mind i bid you adieu hopefully jalen green can cash for us let's see what happens remember go light today i'm telling you i hope you guys learned something i hope it got your brain thinking the right way here's the salute good luck in all your contests baby and as always my brothers and sisters in christ let's crush it